More rumors about a new Call of Duty game, new Silent Hill game is to be revealed in the next PlayStation event, and GTA 6 is returning to Vice City. Hello and welcome everybody to a new episode of Top Gaming News and this week it's spiced up with a lot of rumors. So let's just go right in. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Season 5 is going to begin from August 5th and it looks like there might be big changes as there is a new group called Shadow Company joining the game. The trailer focuses on the stadium and the nuke residing in Verdansk. And it looks like the stadium will be open for the first time ever in Warzone. There might also be a loot train supplying armor plates and weapons to every corner of Verdansk. There will be more changes coming to the game and it all will be revealed as the new game of Call of Duty comes by. And speaking of the new game of Call of Duty, they are heavily rumored that the next game of Call of Duty is Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War or Call of Duty Cold War. Even recently, a pack of Doritos was shown the name of Call of Duty Cold War. I mean, that's great marketing. India should also do some kind of marketing like this. Buy a packet of Lay's and ooh, it's written Beyond Good and Evil 2. Previously, Microsoft Store had a game called The Red Door and now the game has a 10 GB update size and still you cannot play the game but the game has different files which says the campaign missions and the zombie maps that the game will have. Apparently there are 10 different campaign mission files, then 2 zombie files and also 1 warzone file. According to Prototype Warehouse, the game has campaign missions throughout Germany, Russia and Vietnam and also has multiplayer maps that will take you to Moscow and Miami it seems. Now all these leaks might subject to change, maybe later down in the line all of these will be different when the game comes out. But since it will be a Black Ops game, there will obviously be zombie mode and apparently the code name of the zombie mode is called Silver. The leaker suggested the maps could be in Warzone and he also suggested that the reveal of the new Call of Duty will happen in the next PlayStation 5 state of play which is rumored to be happening this very month. Now we have to wait and see whether PlayStation 5 state of play will actually reveal the new Call of Duty game or we still have to wait a little bit more longer. Speaking of PlayStation 5 state of play, it seems like a lot of rumors are surrounding what games can possibly be revealed in this very event. According to the leak, PS5's new event will show Final Fantasy VII's continued development, that is Chapter 2 I guess, and a new teaser for the next God of War. There's also Spider-Man Miles Morales and apparently there's a Days Gone 2 happening and then comes Silent Hill which is in conjunction with Konami. At first it was thought that Kojima has taken all the rights of Silent Hill games and he is making another one but that was taken down and proven false. And ever since then that rumor train has began running in and now a Twitter profile is completely sure that the new Silent Hill game is being made. A Twitter profile by the name Aesthetic Gamer tweeted out that he is 100% sure that a new Silent Hill game is being made by a Japanese studio. The work began in late 2018 and it will be revealed very soon. He speculates that the game will be revealed either in the PlayStation 5 state of play or maybe sometime in September. Now Aesthetic Gamer previously leaked out most of the information of Resident Evil 8 and all of those informations were true. And now he has been speculating for a long time that Silent Hill is gonna be coming from a new Japanese studio. So we can at least say that his leaks might have some truth in it. It's been so many years since we have seen a new Silent Hill game. The last one was Silent Hill PT and there's definitely no way that game is coming back or being completed. So if there is a new Silent Hill game, it's most probably be a reboot or will be a continuation to the older series that's going on. Recently Konami tweeted out a sound clip from Silent Hill and everybody got excited but then they revealed they were just watching some Dead by Daylight streams because Dead by Daylight has a partnership with Konami and they're including Silent Hill characters. That was a bummer. And then they also mentioned a Twitter account which is relatively new called Silent Hill Officials and they told that any official news about Silent Hill will be coming to that Twitter handle. So it could also mean that this new Twitter account is a hint that a new Silent Hill game is coming. Previously it was rumored that PS5 State of Play is going to happen on August 6th but now it has been rumored that the date has changed to August 13th because on August 6th there will be Sony Music Announcement. So we have to wait again to see whether Silent Hill is a game coming out from Konami. Hyperscape Ubisoft's Battle Royale was in open beta until yesterday and the game will be releasing on August 11th to all platforms and as everybody know, it's a free to play game. This game is more futuristic and more fast paced and you can use abilities or hacks to take advantage of your situation. The first season is called First Principle and will have a new weapon and a new magnetic hack. Now usually in Battle Royale game there are abilities, there are hacks, they all seem kind of the same thing anyway. 
The game will also have battle pass and it will be split into free and premium tracks. Premium ones you can buy using in-game currency but those currency are hard to collect so you might have to spend some cash that is real cash to buy those currencies and then buy premium stuff. Ubisoft brought this game a month ago and now they're releasing this game as well to every single one of them and since battle royale genre is so huge there's so many games to compete with it's really hard to stay innovative and stay fresh. There's so many battle royale games that has come and gone and nobody cares about it they played for a few weeks and then it was dead. As we all know the most popular battle royale games are PUBG, Fortnite, Apex Legends and Warzone and I haven't seen Hyperscape in Twitch most played games or even in YouTube most played games so it seems like not a lot of people are streaming this game as well. What do you guys think about Hyperscape? Are you guys having fun in the game? Let me know in the comments below. I have not tried Hyperscape because I'm too much bored to play battle royales after battle royales. I would rather play one battle royale game and then play something else. Speaking of something else, you can play Marvel's Avengers because they had a really good look to the game since their last showcase. The game was good previously but it had tons and tons of frame drops and people were complaining so much that they didn't want to play the game. But now with the new showcase, they might have changed all of that. The game will have a beta coming out starting from this week for those who pre-ordered in PS4 from August 7th to August 9th and next week from August 14th to August 16th it will be open beta for PS4 and from August 21 to August 23rd it will be open beta for PC players. It is good that they are adding so much content to the beta. There will be single player campaigns with Kamala and Hulk. There will be different co-op multiplayer modes for you to play as well. You will also be able to level up your abilities and try them out in Harm Room that is the best place to try out every single character and see which one is your favorite and more. And then later on you can take it all out in Warzone modes. In the beta campaign mode they are adding this bridge sequence which possibly is the opening sequence of the game which will let you control every single Avenger and you will get to see how every single character plays in the game. That is pretty solid in my opinion. One of the best things they talked about was companion AI which will have your own heroes fighting with you as AI. So if you have Iron Man and you have upgraded let's say to level 2 and when you join a game alone then you will be accompanied by AI and that AI will include your Iron Man. So that's pretty cool. But one of the most important thing was microtransaction. Since it's a multiplayer game there will definitely microtransactions and it's a good thing that this microtransaction will only affect cosmetics. It won't affect the gameplay at all. Now it was all mentioned officially in an interview that all of these microtransactions will only affect the cosmetics and it will not in any way shape or form affect the gameplay. Any abilities that you want to unlock will only be unlocked based on the experience that you gain as you play the game. What do you guys think about Marvel's Avengers? Will you guys be trying this game out when it comes out in open beta for the weekend? Let me know in the comments below because I will be trying it out on PlayStation 4 and probably on PC as well. A major leak has come across for the next GTA game from a user in Reddit and it seems like GTA is going back to Vice City. Previously it was rumored that Rockstar is actually working on a new GTA game and they started working very early that is just this year only April of 2020 according to the rumors and this time they will be making the game smaller than the previous games and then expanding it over updates similar to what they have been doing with GTA Online. Now recently there has been more info about the game over on Reddit because there is one user who listed out a series of things that the game will have. Now these all info are rumors so please take this with a pinch of salt. According to the leaker the next GTA title was in production for a long time and it's been called Project Americas and will be in Vice City and a new fictional location based on Rio de Janeiro. I'm sorry if I spelled that wrong. Some linear missions will take place in Liberty City and the game will also take place in 1970s to 1980s. You're a drug lord wannabe named Ricardo. You start off as a cocaine smuggler from Vice City to the new large South America before making connections with the big time drug lords and then making your way up. This time the game is more focused on weather so you will have tornadoes, floods even. You can also have body armors in the trunk of the car and if you wear them they will actually be visible and the game is supposed to be more immersive than ever and it will mostly be in English. And since the game is under development things are supposed to change. It might be possible that characters change, storylines change, location change so that's why these rumors should be taken with a pinch of salt. There was another leak stating that the game will actually have 4 protagonists and that there will be a huge plot twist and there will be a lot more dialogues than GTA 5. It has also been speculated that this game is only coming out in next gen consoles that is PlayStation 5 and probably Xbox Series X which means the game will take a long time for it to come out on PC similar to how GTA 5 took 2 years 
to make it release on PC. Now it is very early to decide on how the story is, how the game is going to be set because the game is still in the works. But for sure Rockstar is working on a new GTA game because it's one of their biggest franchises. And even recently Rockstar changed their profile picture to red color of Rockstar and a lot of people speculated that it's Max Payne, a reboot of some kind. But I believe that the game has been dead for a long time so I think this is for GTA 6. Well this month we have a lot more games coming around because we also have DC Fan Dome and in that event it is rumored that a new Batman game will be revealed. There are also rumors coming from EA that they are releasing a Mass Effect collection and from Sony's side it has been speculated that a new Uncharted game is supposed to be coming. So make sure to subscribe to Gamer Connect to watch those game news every single week and so many more videos. Do give us a like if you like this video and do comment down below what you think about this very episode. My name is Gaming Madness and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.